Do you still have a Google Stadia controller gathering dust somewhere? Then stop what you're doing right now and listen up. We all know that Google pulled the plug on Stadia back on January 18th, 2023. A tiny slither of hope. You might use it again. You need to hear this. Google is officially sunsetting the tool to switch your Stadia controller to Bluetooth mode on December 31st, 2025. Miss that date and this beautiful piece of hardware will become nothing more than a relic. But don't worry, you can still use it as a fantastic wired or Bluetooth gaming controller if you make this crucial change. So let me show you exactly how to breathe new life into your old Stadia controller. Ah, uh, where does the time go? I remember getting my Stadia controller back in 2020 completely free of charge with a Chromecast Ultra simply for being a YouTube premium subscriber. But let's not be too nostalgic. We want to keep this controller alive. And step one means we're going to have to have it powered to at least 10% or more. To do that, plug it into the wall via USB-C and make sure it's charged. You can tell how much charge is in the controller by connecting it up to your computer and going to the following link. When you're there, you're going to want to hit the button that says switch to Bluetooth mode. Hit the terms conditions, which are basically you telling Google you understand this is irreversible and you cannot change it back to Wi-Fi after these steps. Next, plug in your Stadia controller to your computer while on this page so it can run some checks to first determine if the battery life is acceptable and that it can actually detect your controller. To do this, you're going to click the button that says allow Chrome to verify. Now I was using uh, Edge uh, for this, so you don't really need to use Chrome, but there you go. Once you've clicked that button, head up to the top of the screen and click Stadia controller. Once you've clicked that, click connect. Now, if like me, you get this message, your controller is in Stadia Wi-Fi mode, then today I may have just saved your controller. Because this means that if you were to allow your controller past this screen, on the 31st of December 2025, you would no longer be able to use your controller. So now click switch to Bluetooth mode. The next step is really tricky to do for a lot of people, including me. So I've created a little video I'm going to show you now on how I did this. If you do this incorrectly, then you will need to power cycle your controller to get it back into an off state to start again. It has not bricked your controller. It just appears as if it's not doing anything but just follow along. The first thing you're going to want to do is unplug your controller if you haven't already at this stage. You're then going to want to insert the USB-C cable, but first hold down that three dot button. Once you've done this, nothing will happen, but trust me, it's all behind the scenes. After a couple of seconds, which I gave it, I let go. Then very carefully, as you can see on the diagram, you're gonna to need to hit four keys at the same time. A and Y and the three dot menu and the assistant button. Push down all together and I did it for about two or three seconds. And then I let go. I was very careful not to hit the trigger buttons while doing this. Again, nothing appears to have happened, but trust me, behind the scenes, it has. Now, if you did everything correctly and didn't hit any additional buttons, click next, followed by allow Chrome to download. At the top of the screen, you're then going to get a box to select the controller and then click connect. It'll have a weird name. It'll test if the connectivity is available, at which point you should get this. If you don't get this, power cycle the controller and start again. Next, we'll also click allow Chrome to install, followed by USB composite device, which is still the controller and connect. And it will download Bluetooth mode into your Stadia controller. And finally, if you get this screen, then everything has gone A-OK, -okay, and you now have a Bluetooth Stadia controller. I've now created some archival footage so that you can go through some of the archives of the Stadia website and help pages, just in case Google takes this down in the future. This would be how to pair with a Bluetooth device. You'd hold the Stadia key and the Y key, for two seconds until the status light flashes orange and then it's in pairing mode and visible to other devices. And you can obviously um, accept those pairings on your computer. I've also created, like I say, the archival uh, files for um, the Stadia help pages. Feel free to go through these and I'll leave these in the video for you to pause at your command. 
I hope this video has helped you out greatly and I shall leave you now to enjoy your new Bluetooth Stadia controller. And by the way, don't forget, you can still use USB-C. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.